All right, we're back with some more of this, guys. What is that? Flood Mon 14 here. Let's do it. Ah, yeah. This is Let's Play Yu Gi Oh! Nightmare All right. How's it going, guys? Uh, in the last couple episodes, the Battle City Tournament officially began. Um, and in the last episode, I remember, I think I remember we got a new bonus for the, uh, the friendship. Yeah, the friendship bonus, I'm pretty sure. Uh, in this episode, let's, actually, let's start by heading to the shop. Uh, hmm. Actually, I should have looked up what pack I want to buy before coming here. Um, but I did not do that. Um, tell you what, instead, let's just buy some packs that we don't have the pack list for. Let's buy a pack we don't have 80% on. For example, let's buy a few of this one. Um, and I guess, well, actually, let me, uh, because I remember a Legendary Ocean's in the Relinquish pack. So, ah, Pitch Black Power Stone, that's good. Let you get three free spell counters. Also, Emblem of Dragon Destroyer. That helps you get uh, one half of my uh, my YouTube icon, which is Dark Paladin, which I don't think I've really talked much about, but uh, yeah, one of my favorite cards for sure. Uh, Dark Paladin, very good card. Fusion between Muster Blader and Dark Magician. Played by Yukimoto, the guy you see right to the left. Uh, let's see. Ooh, another DD Assailant. Man, that is good. That is really good. Alright, and uh, we're at 76%, so we only need like two new cards out of here, and we're good for the pack list. But I guess after we finish opening this one, yeah. Uh, let me check my uh, trunk and make sure. Uh, to your opponents. Uh, it's, hmm, I don't know. That, I don't know. <laughs> there are a lot. If you do want to see your opponent's hand, there are a lot of other better cards better than Pekiro's Second Sight there. Twin Swords of Flashing Light can be used for some interesting, cheesy combos. Uh, zero Gravity here, though, is actually pretty good. It changed all the battle position. So let's say, you know, your opponent has a couple of monsters in attack position. Basically, this ends the battle phase. Also, if they've got something too powerful in attack mode, might want to check their defense, can help you get over it. Uh, draining shield is also very good. Negates an attack, and you gain life points equal to half that monster's attack. I mean, to all that monster's attack, actually. Hi, Flood. You've got a lot of cards. Let me give you these fleeces of pricing. I didn't collect them all. Alright, so we get device tactics, and I guess I'll show you guys that list, as well as, I'm going to see how many legendary ocean cards I've got. So device tactics, let's see here, that is this one. So as you can see, the Ojamas in this pack, we really got the main card here, Blackluster Soldier on way in the beginning. Uh, what cards are we missing? <laughs> now this is, uh, I'm pretty sure this card's an ultra rare in this pack. This is a very good card, Bullet Butterfly Dagger Elma. So, whenever it's sent to the graveyard, you can return it to your hand. I, I'm i pretty sure this card's legal in this game, and there are some pretty hilarious loops you can do with this card. Um, if we can manage to pull it later, we will be making a uh, pretty funny deck with this card. Uh, what else are we missing? Oh man, Mirage of Nightmare, so good. Now, I think that is banned in this game, I think. Uh, token Thanksgiving, that combos really well with Scapegoat. Begone Nave is actually a really good continuous trap. Uh, anytime a monster inflicts battle damage, that monster's return to the owner's hand. So, very interesting floodgate. Uh, Chain Disappearance, pretty good. Uh, Curse of Darkness, we're missing Fiend's Hand Mirror, and Trap Jammer. Actually, Trap Jammer... Well, I think we already got seven tools, but if you don't have seven tools for some reason, Pretty good card, I would recommend it. So yeah, Trap Jammer, Mirage of Nightmare, and Butterfly Dagger Elma. So yeah, we're missing some pretty good cards. Okay, with that being done. Right, I do have the Power of Unity. Well, first of all, I definitely do want to change the deck. We don't want to use uh, this deck for the rest of the day. Let's just go with, uh, 
let's go with Allied Forces to start today. Uh, and now let me check my trend. Let me see how many Legendary Ocean I've got. A Legendary... Okay, so I do only have two. Okay, so let me... Let me buy a few of the Relinquish Packs. And actually, like, the cards we got weren't, like, too... There's nothing I wouldn't mind saves coming, to be honest. So... If we don't get, like, a Legendary Ocean within, like, five packs, which... I mean, it could happen. Then I guess we will save scum. Uh, if we do get it, then I'll keep it. But you know, uh, Panther Warrior is good. I don't think we've already got one though. So, by the way, do we have just standard relinquish out of this pack? I don't think we do. Oh, okay. There we go. We got a legendary ocean. Okay. So I won't save scum. I will not save scum. Uh, any other packs we want to buy while we're here? Um. Oh. I remember there being some card that's very good that we want out of here. I forgot what card it is uh, from Visitor from Beyond, but I think there is a very good card we want out of here. Uh, but let's just buy... Wait, I didn't have Spirit Message in? I wonder if I have all the Spirit Message cards now. Uh, was that the card? No, I don't think that was the card I was wanting. Um, trying to remember uh, what card I was wanting out of here. I don't really remember. I mean, Amphibian Beast is nice, though. Definitely a good flood card, as well as another Umiruka. That's good. Um, because I think we already got Horse Raider. I'm pretty sure we already got Dark Necrofear. Um, I, I mean, that's honestly... Another one of these ain't bad, yeah. Twin-Headed Behemoth. Um... Yeah, I don't really remember. I, I guess this will be the last pack we buy. Because I don't really remember exactly what card I wanted out of here, but... Oh! We didn't have Dark Necrofear. Well, we got it now. Uh, check this out. Yeah, pretty good card. <clears throat> Give me special summon by removing three fiends in the graveyard. When destroyed in battle or your opponent's card picks, treat it as an equip card at the end of the turn. Equip one of your opponent's monster with this card. As long as you equip this card, you control the equipped monster. So, basically, it's a uh, Snatch Steel effect on, and this activates no matter how it's destroyed, by battle or card effect, which is pretty rare for an old school Yu-Gi-Oh card. Uh, Dark Necrofear is actually very, very good. Uh, and it's actually pretty easy to get out, because like, you know, as you guys have seen, we use Giant German basically all of our decks, and uh, yeah, that's basically three fiends right there. I mean, plus Sandgan, I mean, Sandgan's just good, you know, most decks are going to have Sandgan, so yeah, I guess we will save, because we got that third legendary ocean, a legendary ocean, definitely the best version of Umi, in, in this game anyway. Uh, so with that being done, let's check the mail, make sure we didn't get any new mail, and I think we'll head out. Uh, no, no, because it would have said if we did. Alright, so let's head out. Um, so I remember, uh, I, th I, I think it was a couple, let's just get into a duel real quick. I think it was a couple episodes ago, I was talking about, um, uh, how there are, yeah, quite a few new duelists. Um, and how to progress the story, you need to talk to Ishizu, the person you see uh, kind of in the middle on the picture on the left, right next to Kaiba. Um, but there are quite a few people we haven't registered, and so I was talking about doing them off screen. Uh, I think what I'll do is like, this is like the second day or so, Rex Raptor, okay. Uh, I need the same everything as the last German I do jump. My dinos will stop ya! Uh, that Red Tractor was pretty good, honestly. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, registering people. I was talking about doing, like, a lot of, uh, off-screen grinding. Uh, I think what I'll do is, because, like, the story doesn't advance, from what I remember, until you beat Ishizu three times. So, I think what I'll do is, like, do like maybe one more full day with me having commentary as in today and uh yeah because he has two monsters first turn we can actually special summon the fiend mega cyber right away so let's do it how's that and i don't think i'll play giant red yet let's just attack and see what happens um but yeah i was talking about doing some grinding off screen 
like I said, just to register everyone we want to register at this point. Now, really, I just want to show it for the LP. And also, there are a few cards you can only get in this game by trading. And uh, obviously, most duelists won't trade with you until you register them. Um, so that's really the main reason. Jar Greed's cool. That's really the main reason I want to do that. Another. Is he going to two tribute here? Oh my god, dude. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so he's special summon Gila Source. Why didn't you just special summon those all first turn? Holy crap, this guy could have had four monsters on his first turn. Why didn't you just do that, Rex? What? What's going on here? My goodness. Rex is going all out. He gets, uh... He gets red eyes. Honestly, we're going to be in a little bit of trouble here. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. I guess I'll go with Mysterious Puppeteer, because these guys are in defense mode, so... Yeah. Uh, let's just start attacking. But, uh, dang, man, this guy got three Gilazor. He, he got a really good hand. Three Gilazors on the first turn. Um, let's just... I, hmm. I guess we'll do the damage, because he's going to have two monsters either way. So it kind of doesn't matter if I... I was thinking about taking out the Gila Swords just so he only has two monsters, but... He's going to have two regardless, so we might as well do the damage, I guess. Uh, but yeah, basically, long story short, I think I've decided, you know, let's do, you know, maybe one or two days worth of, uh, you know, full days in the game. Uh, worth of commentary and uh oh by the way i guess i can uh guess i can enlarge the screen for you guys i didn't even think about that let me let me do that oh and i'm cutting off yugi there well sorry yugi but the viewers like to see the new um no i'm not gonna disrespect all that but yeah i guess i'll do one or two days of commentary and then uh and then, you know, I'll plug in the HDMI and we'll go from there, yeah. All right, uh, interesting, you switched your Robbie to defense mode. I mean, you could have done more damage if you just, uh, if you just left that in attack mode, bruh. So, with Ray's body heat, this thing is at, uh, maybe I will play this tornado because, okay, I've got Warrior returning alive. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this before you're returning alive. I mean, maybe I should have saved this for being Mega Titan in case something goes wrong, but uh, maybe not. So, uh, this tornado on Ray's Body Heat. I guess I could have played Gaia Power as well, but I don't want to boost his monsters. That's really the issue with Gaia Power right now. Uh, Sterious Puppeteer, attack mode. Alright, Battle Fates, Battle Fox. Giga Cyber, attack is Gila Swords. Uh, but yeah, that's the plan for now. And yeah. Um, now if you're if you're like following along in this LP, um, really the the people. Okay, because only some people are necessary to register. Because like, as you guys have seen in this game, um. Basically, in order to progress the story, at some points you need to find certain characters. So you don't really need to register, you know, everybody. But these are the people I would suggest registering. If, if you only want to register the ones that are necessary. Uh, Yugi and Yami Yugi, right? And those are two different, you know, duelists, obviously, in this game. Which is kind of weird, by the way, but anyway. So Yugi and Yami Yugi. Uh, Joey Wheeler, Serenity Wheeler, uh, is necessary. I think she has another event in the story. Uh, ah, Adhesion Tra- Ah, that's- Yeah, so whenever a monster is summoned, uh, it becomes half its attack, which is kind of annoying, but, um... So, yes, yeah, Serenity Wheeler, uh, Taya, Taya Gardner, um... Uh, who else? Uh, so I said Joey... Yeah, Joey, Serenity, 
uh, I'm not gonna attack with her. Joey, Serenity, y both Yugi's. Uh, Seto Kaiba, I would register. Uh, Bakura, I would also register at this point. And, yeah, because I don't think, like, Rex is necessary for the story uh, at any point. I don't think, um, you know, to advance the story, I don't think, like, uh, Mako or Esperoba or Weevil. Um, not that I can remember anyway. So, basically... Um, you know, if you want to do the ones, you know, um, that you have to find at certain points, uh, you in the game are basically the main ones, as well as, well, I think Mai is necessary at one point. So you in the game, Mai, and Kaiba, I would say are the main ones. So, yeah. As well as Serenity, yeah. So, there you go. Um, but of course, I'm just gonna go ahead and register everyone because we can and because I want to. So yeah. Anyway, that's the plan, uh, that I've decided, yeah. And of course, if I change my mind, I will let you guys know, so there's that. Thing. So, can we get exactly zero here? Let me check the field here. Let's go full screen, check the field. So, both of these guys got 2200. Um, well, I don't have anything with 500, so I think we'll just win the duel. <laughs> man, good thing we had the Fiend Mega Cyber in our opening hand, man, because this guy, I mean, I didn't really. Yeah, yikes. I didn't really get any solid monster here to Axe Raider, so... Jeez. <laughs> Good thing also he went first. Uh, yeah. Oh, and we level up to level 23. Nice. So we get a level up bonus, and that's 300 more points. Sweet. I was singing him easy on you, so seriously. All right, well, with that being done, uh, what time are we at? Like, 18 minutes? Uh, maybe I should end it here. Uh, now nah, i tell you what, let's find another duel, and let's start it, and let's continue in the next episode. Uh, by the way, yeah, also, since it's necessary to, you know, defeat Ishizu three times, uh, if we do defeat her twice... You know, in the new city next door, which I'm heading to right now. I guess if we defeat her twice, or run into her twice, I will, like, you know, save scum before every encounter. Uh, just, just to be sure we don't advance the story. Because I don't want to do that right now. I just want to, you know, kind of find people who are new and duel them. And actually, we have people who are both new and old, because Joey's on this map, on this side of the map, from what I remember... Uh, two or three episodes ago, so yeah, there's all kind of people we want to duel. Uh, let's see, who's this? Uh, let's see, so north, south, or west. Uh, let's just go south here. Oh, it's my. All right, let's do it, my. My Valentine. A real duelist doesn't need friends. They only get in the way. Now let's duel. Um. Interesting. Okay, Mai, not something I expected you to say. Well, I guess at this point she hasn't uh, had her little arc with, uh, yeah, during the finals where, you know, they basically all became friends. But, uh, yeah, you know, where Joey kind of stood up for her in that Shadow Game versus Merrick. So it's understandable, understandable. Birdface, first turn. All right. Well, let's see. Let's, uh... Let's thin the deck here, first of all. Tune table into tune table. I think I'll actually take tune Gemini Elf. Uh, normally I'd take tune Force, but we'll go with Gemini Elf this time. Da 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 da. Yeah, tune Gemini Elf. Man, I love the music in this game. Okay, so let's do, hmm, I'm actually not going to different dimension capsule first turn, 
let's see if she has Harpy's Hunting Ground. Let me set this tornado. And I'll go with Axe Raider. I know she has a face down, but let's just be a little aggressive here. Go, Axe Raider! Slice him and dice him. Call the bluff. Alright, and Burfaith lets her search for a Harpy Lady when it's destroyed. So what's she gonna get? Uh, three. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> I remember, uh, yeah, in a recent episode of GX, uh, Duel Academy, that I uploaded on this channel, which you should watch. <clears throat> yeah, Harpy Lady 3 kind of glitched the game <laughs> uh, from uh, Professor Fontaine using it, which is kind of weird. Uh, somebody in the comments told me about the glitch. I'm just like, what? Basically, it stopped me from attacking uh, infinitely, which it's not how that card works. It's only supposed to work for two turns. And it worked even though my monster was removed from the field, which is complete, you know, complete cheating. But yeah, <laughs> Professor Fontaine tried to hack the game, yo. All right. Interesting move by Mai there. Tried to get us with the old equip strat, but we had the clutch. That's Tornado. All right. Well, she doesn't have hunting around yet, so I guess we will different dimension capsule for our pot of greed. Let's see. Uh, pot of greed. There it is. All right. And my level at Nuzzler's back on top of her deck. Not really too worried about that. Uh, let's just go with Tomb Gemini Elf. I guess I should be worried because I know she has Harpy Lady in her hand. And next turn she can just uh, summon it and equip it. Uh, but will she do that? Well, she did just summon uh, Amazon Archer uh, in attack mode and try. So why wouldn't she this turn, right? I oh, know she did set. Okay, okay. Oh, fair, fair, fair play, fair play. All right, one turn on capsule. Good, good. Uh, I guess I'll tribute for Giga Cyber here. Fiend Mega Cyber, why not? Oh yeah, we have Last Will too. That's a great reason to tribute. Uh, you, oh wait, yeah, yeah, there it is. Last Will, there we go. Probably just do Sinister Serpent in the end phase. Uh, and I know it's the middle of my turn, but we are at about 22 minutes here, guys. So I'm actually just going to end the episode here, yeah. So in the next episode, we will continue this duel versus mine. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all next time. Da-da-da-da. Bum-bum-bum-bum.